After reviewing our revenue and expenditure projections and considering the current state of the economy, I've decided that the GST increase will not take effect in 2021. In other words, the GST rate will remain at 7% in 2021. <laughs> However, we'll not be able to put off the increase indefinitely. In fact, this outbreak has reinforced the importance of continued investments in our healthcare system, including the capability to deal with outbreaks. I will still require recurrent sources of revenue to fund our recurrent spending needs in the medium term. Thus, the GST increase will still be needed by 2025. We'll assess carefully the appropriate time for the increase, but rest assured, we'll provide Singaporeans sufficient lead time. I want to assure everyone that when we raise the GST rate, we will ensure that our taxes and transfer system remains progressive. We'll continue to absorb GST on publicly subsidised healthcare and education. And just as we have done in the past, we'll provide an assurance package when the GST rate is raised. This will be a $6 billion package for Singaporeans to cushion the increase as we transition to the higher GST rate. GST is paid by all in Singapore, including foreigners working and visiting here. But the assurance package will benefit Singaporeans. The majority of Singaporean households will receive offsets to cover at least five years' worth of additional GST expenses incurred. Lower-income households will receive much more. Those living in one- to three-room HDB flats will receive offsets equivalent to about 10 years' worth of additional GST expenses incurred.